what's up? I have to talk about some stuff. Because there's all this stuff on the government and this and that. Why are you giving foreigners jobs when Americans need jobs? Well, as much as it hurts for me to say, if you go online and look at the statistics on how many Americans do not work, because one, they're lazy, two, disability, three, a fake injury on the job so they can get workman's comp, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Every single place that I go into, let it be a pork place, a meat place, food processing, live kills, chicken places, whatever. Everybody in the only people that will do those jobs are people that come over here from another country because they're grateful to come over here. I used to be like, oh, we need to give Americans more jobs until I actually talked to some of these people at these places. When they started out, they do. They get they hire as many Americans first as they can. They last two days and they can't they don't want to do it. It's nasty. So in this economy, if you want to at home go to the grocery store and buy chicken, steaks, meat, feed your family, have people to process it. If you rely on Americans right now to work those places, you're not going to be eaten. You better plant some vegetables and go out hunting, eating squirrels and chipmunks and shit because that's the only meat you're going to get. Literally every place I get meat, I'd say 80% of the workers are from, they bring them, they're either H2A, bring them up from Mexico or Russia or whatever, they come over here and they're grateful to work. Let it be said, I am a, you know, I love this country. I love uh, the freedom. Um, but if you want to eat, if you want to be able to go to the grocery store and get meals, even from McDonald's and Subway, all that meat that's being processed, Americans do not like working those places. Same with in trucking where I'm at. There are places where I get my truck our trucks washed. Americans will not do the those uh, cattle trucks, the whole cattle and all that, pigs and all that. Those trucks have six inches of shit. I have never yet seen a American jump inside those trailers and spend an hour spraying them out with hot water and soap mixed with shit. It, it makes you gag. They come out of the trailers with horse shit or pig shit, cow shit, stuck in their ears, their nose, in their mouth. And they fucking, they get done, they go clean up, go to the next one. No complaints. I've never seen an American do that. So from food processing places, every single one I go to, I'd say a majority of the workers are from another country. Or they got their green cards, they come over here, whatever. So let it be said, if you want to eat meat, go to the grocery store, you can't really complain about Americans not getting enough jobs because the Americans don't want to work a job like that for some reason. Don't get me wrong, there are Americans that are working them jobs. But the turnover rate is ridiculous. I talked to this one manager at Tyson. He said they hire probably 30 to 40 Americans a month and they'll be lucky to have two stay every month. They last a week and they quit. And the reasons why, it's nasty. We don't want to do that. Okay, so quit 
bitching about not having a job and all these foreigners are getting jobs because you had a job and you quit. I mean, I used to be one of those guys that were, you know, before trucking, before I see all this stuff, like, why can't the Americans get the jobs? This is bullshit. That's why. I enjoy going to the grocery store and getting chicken, beef, meat. And that's just the tip of the iceberg on the meat side. I worked at a greenhouse. It was a state-of-the-art, multi-million-dollar greenhouse where I'm from. And I was right there talking to all the big wigs right there. And I know exactly what the turnover rate was. We saw it daily. They go through all these temp agencies. And they literally, they every week they're getting 10 to 30 new Americans working. They last a day, not even a day. It's too hot. Yeah, it's 105 degrees in there. It's 105 degrees, 120 degrees sometimes. I... I did it for about six months and got a better job. Went to another job. I would say 80% of the people working at that greenhouse, in every greenhouse I went to, and they do strawberries, peppers, tomatoes, uh, you name it, all these vegetables. So, if you want to go to the grocery store and eat meat and vegetables, the foreigners are a majority working to get you that at the grocery store. So there's nothing you can, people can, can complain about. This this world, America, you would not have the things you have without foreigners that are willing to work these jobs that Americans won't last. As bad as that sounds, as much as I hate saying that, it's 100% true. You can't and, and I was one of those people, you know? But until you open your eyes and you see this stuff on a daily basis, you know, even even beverage places, Pepsi, 60% <laughs> of the people are from a different country or they came over here, their, their families are from a different country. They were raised a different way, I think. And they're willing to go and work these jobs because they're, they'll hire you, they're making good, they're working, they're making money for their families, but it's not good enough for Americans? I don't know. Don't know. I just had to get it off my chest. I'm just, I see all these, all this stuff. People complaining and complaining, Americans, about the foreigners having jobs, but you had the job and you quit. So quit complaining. Get it off your lazy ass and get a job. I mean, it's just, it's not good enough. I don't want to work at McDonald's. I don't want to, it's a job. It's better than sitting on your butt, doing nothing, mooching off the government. Because all them foreigners, they're not mooching off the government at all. You know, a couple of them, yeah, probably get certain uh, benefits here and there, but they're working. So if they are getting benefits, what are you going to do? You know, that's, they're working. If anyone go online and look at the st statistics on Americans that are out of work from disability, so-called disability, workman's comp, an injury, they stub their toe, so they need to be off six months and get paid for it. I got a, I got a stub toe. other people that have serious shit. I'm not denying that. But I hope enough Americans see this just to, you know, you will not have what you have without these foreigners working these jobs that you guys will not work. So, with that said, I am hauling Gatorade to North Dakota. Then I'll pick up some ice cream and head home. But I thought I'd just bring that up because I see it on a first a first look. I'm there. I know what these places, who runs them, who's working there. You know? And I look at this, the work they do. Let me explain the live 
chicken stuff. And this is a lot. You are... Sometimes they get them... Some, some of these places have to deep... They, they actually have live chickens brought. They have a section that de-feathers them. They have a section that guts them. They have a section that cuts them up. These guys are cutting fingers off, getting cut, because they're, they're putting them in machines and processing guts and blood and shit. They have to clean the, the intestines out. That's what they do. They get it prepped so you can go to the store and eat a nice meal with your family. I mean, from that to the greenhouses, all throughout California, all them oranges you guys love, peaches in Atlanta, all the, you know, Georgia, Georgia peaches, the greenhouses down there, 90% of them. The watermelon places I went and picked up, I think there was a 98 uh, workers from other countries and two Americans. And the two Americans that were working there, one of them was the owner of the company, or like one of the, he's the, the kid of his parents that owned the place. And the other one is like his buddy that runs pork truck. But all these, it happened, actually most of the people there were uh, Hispanic. And uh, they're doing all the labor. They're picking up watermelons, they're sorting them out, they're loading them in boxes. And then the American comes with a fork truck, 10 minutes later, grabs a pallet, drops it on the ground, goes, parks it, go walk, and it goes and does its thing. Waits 10 minutes, ground hops in the fork truck, pulls forward, takes it off, and keeps taking them off, loading them on trucks. So, stop complaining. Had to be said. Because I just keep, I, I got these live feeds that come out on YouTube, people complaining in Twitter about why are, are Americans not getting jobs, the foreigners are getting jobs, and I was just like, I'm done, I just got to come out with a video and let you know what I see behind the scenes. I mean, other people can interpret it a certain way, but in all reality, they are working the jobs that you do not want to do, and therefore, you get to have the luxury of going and buying these things that they did and prepped and cleaned so you can provide for your family food. So you have to look at it in that sense. And that's just from the, the food, which is the most important thing that a human being needs on top of water. So water, food. They take care of a majority of the food, and I've been all over the United States, to hundreds of places from greenhouses to meat facilities to even places that sell frozen burritos and frozen uh, pizzas. Foreigners, they are doing a majority of that work. Now, obviously, the Walmart distribution centers that are receiving this stuff, majority of Americans because everything's already been done. The hard, nasty, clean shit, blood work has been done. So when it's a trucker, like I'll get it, the finished product, or at least the clean product, which will go to a facility that they, you know, package and sell. So all the hard work's been done because of foreigners. So, okay, that's about enough. I just had to, I had to come out with a video. I don't care if there's no views on this whatsoever. It had to be said because I'm seeing this stuff. So think about that. Next time you write down a tweet or on Facebook or YouTube about, I wish I had a job, all the foreigners are having jobs. Go back and watch this video again because that's, I've just, that's just the places I've been to. And I guarantee you, if those places are like that, other places are like that. And, and, I used to be one of those people, you know. I wish I had the foreigners getting all the job. That they're getting the jobs because the Americans will not work them. And when they do, they last a couple hours, a couple days, maybe a week or two, and they're done. They got their paycheck. They're going to go find some cleaner, more, 
whatever. So, all right, guys, I'm done ranting. I'm gonna make this delivery. I had to, I had to do it. So, I am gonna leave you with that to think about. And I don't even have the st statistics in front of me. That's just my own statistics from going to this place and talking to these people. And half of them don't even speak English. So, remember that. You enjoy food, you enjoy vegetables and meat. Without the foreigners, you would not. You'd be eating squirrels and, and mice. Whatever you can scrounge out around your barn or your house. So, but I don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's all foreigners. I'm just saying a majority of these places I go to is foreigners. And the managers I talk to say we hire Americans every week and they do not last. The for, Every foreigner that they usually hire stays. They're there. They've been there years. Or they, they'll come up for six months from Mexico or another country. They work on their uh, temporary work permit, visa, or whatever they're called. They go back with a shitload of money in their country, and they're ready to rock and roll. They're ready to, for that uh, period to pass so they can come back over and work another six months or eight months. They're ready to rock and roll. It doesn't phase them. They're making money. So, all right. I'm going to get back to work done ran. I promise. So, alright guys. All you truckers out there, drive safe. Watch out for Swift.